right so uh, what is the ielts format uh, in ielts format ielts stand for international english language testing system and in ielts we have two kind of tests the major tests like ielts academic and ielts general right now what is the difference between ielts academic and ielts general is that that uh, an, an ielts academic the uh, within the reading uh, portion listening is similar speaking is also similar for ielts academic and for ielts general students but reading and writing portion is a little bit different and the difference is here like in reading the academic students would deal with a kind of passage which would which would be lengthier than the ielts general students right the remaining question would be like same like yes not given and true false and uh, two words answer three word answer everything would be same Besides that, in writing a deal, academic students will write an essay and they will also describe the chart, like description of chart would be there. For example, a kind of table would be there to describe that, right? Let, let me show you, like it would be like this, okay? So they would just describe this kind of charts. There are four kinds of charts, we would also discuss those kinds, right? And while uh, the other students who will be dealing with IELTS general, they would just write a letter in IELTS writing module. And further, they would also write an essay, right? Now, who will appear in IELTS general? Those students are those candidates who will appear in IELTS general who will go abroad or who will be in the desire of going abroad for business purpose, for any job purpose. While those students who will be in the desire of going abroad for higher education, for getting higher degree, from any institute, like for education purpose, students are supposed to appear in IELTS academic, academic for education, while IELTS general is for IELTS uh, for the business, right? Now listening is similar, speaking is similar. 22 questions is like average, uh, I didn't mention it here. Now, now in speaking, they mostly ask 22 average questions, right? First in first portion, 12 to 14 questions, then uh, one question in Q card, and then remaining questions in, the third part, three parts of video. All right, in writing, uh, that was a brief discussion. Okay, let me tell you about time. For listening, you, you will have 40 minutes. They will play an audio. Uh, we are going to discuss briefly each module, then uh, they, that is actually a format lecture, right? So we, that is uh, like the structure of IELTS, what would be there. Okay, in the IELTS listening, they will allow you for 40 minutes and they will play an audio, three, sections will be also there, sorry, four sections. And as reading, the time which will be given to you will be 60 minutes. And it, this one push, this portion, this one listening, reading, writing, it will be conducted on the same day, similarly, like listening, reading, and writing. 60 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. While if you talk about the speaking portion, it would be from 12 to 16 minutes, and it will be conducted before this module, within the seven days, the previous seven days, or it will be done after these three modules. Then we are getting something? Yes. Okay, that's great. If you got stuck or didn't clear any point to you, then you can ask, okay. For two okay. hours, yeah, for two hours and 40 minutes, you won't have any break between the tests, right? Our students should appear like their, their mind should be ready for the situation. They would have two hours, and 40 minutes for uh, for the test, for this three portion, right? And there will be no break. Besides that speaking can be conducted on the same day, seven days or within those seven days or within those seven days, which will be after the test, right? Further, if we move and talk about the first portion listening. So there will be four sections, question paper will be given to you and they will play audio, right? Now in four section, we have some points which are described here. The first one is considered to be the easiest one, like the first section would be very easy, right? The second, right, second point is saying, write the answers in the questions booklet, right? Firstly, when they will play an audio, at the time, we're supposed to just write the answers on the same question paper. And then after the, 
uh, when we'll be done with those questions and answers, they would allow us for more extra 10 minutes, right? Like I have mentioned here, at the end of the test of listening portion, you will get 10 more minutes to transfer the answers from question booklet to an answer sheet, right? And you need to write all answers first, right? Now, what we got from listening modules, there will be four sections, 40 questions. Mm -hmm. Each section will have 10 questions, right? Mm -hmm. And besides that, the first section would be easiest one. And the last one will be not that much difficult, but the first, as compared to the first one, first one will be easy one, easiest one, right? Second thing is they would also allow us for 10 minutes to just convert the answer or transfer the answer from question sheet to an answer sheet, right? Now, this was a brief introduction regarding listening. Further, we would go in detail, like what would be the, uh, uh, what will they play in section one and then what will they play in section two and three and four then uh, after just going to those points student would be ready and his mind will be like uh, prepare for the situation and then he would just do it in a very well uh, way and a very, uh, or in a very well manner okay okay let's talk about reading the second module reading is different for general and academic as we mentioned earlier that for general they would give a short kind of passage, but for academic, they would give a lot uh, lengthier passage, right? Unlike listening and speaking, like listening and speaking are same, right? But if you talk about the general reading, so they, that is different for general and different for academic. Okay. Further, reading has three sections for both general and academic, right? General text will have two text passages based upon which you need to answer, right? Like this section would be dis, dis, uh, divided Three, in three sections, the reading portion, and it would also have 40 questions. Besides that, yeah, besides that, uh, the questions would be in the order of difficulty. For example, it can be also come in random way. The passage can be a little lengthier. Now, this is for IELTS academic student, or the passage could be just a little difficult, right? This is just a situation, it can also happen. Okay. On one hand, in academic reading, you will have one long passage, each section based upon which you need to answer 40 questions, right? But if you talk about general students, they will just deal with the short passage. But questions, sure. uh, question, the question, uh, you can see counting of questions will be similar, like 40 questions will be for IELTS general and 40 questions will be for IELTS academic. That was the structure of reading module. In listening module, we also discuss 40 questions will be there and four section will be there. In reading, we discuss three section will be there. And further, we discuss that mm, 40 question will be there, right? And within those three sections. Okay, let me enlarge this photo. And here, and as listening, those four section which we are talking about, like there would be four section. Now, what would be there in first section and second, third, fourth? In first section, there will be conversation between two people. And that conversation will be based on any social activity. Like that conversation will be actually based on society, on circumstances, on surrounding environment, right? Like any social evil or any social incident or any social activity which has done recently, that will be displayed in section one recording, listening. And the student would like supposed to write the missing words within those questions, right? 10 questions. Okay, let's move to section two, a monologue. Monologue means one person will just appear and he will speak. And that monologue set in an everyday, right? Now at here, that monologue would also regarding the society, right? That person would also deliver speech, a kind of speech regarding the social evils or something which is affiliated with the society, with the environment. But at here in section one, two people will talk about society and in section two, one person who talk about society. Now let's move to section three in listening portion. There will be a conversation between four or two people and they can be students, they can be teachers, they can be a professor and a student and the, their discussion, like it here they have mentioned, a university teacher and the student can discuss, are there such kind of discussion like uh, academic people will be there, right? And they will discuss regarding education. The topic will be based on this word, education, right? And, and here we mentioned the topic will be based on society. And here also society, but one person. And here two people are more than two who talk regarding education, right? 
And in section four, again, monologue. Monologue means one person. Mono means one. So monologue and an academic subject. Again, there will be a kind of uh, the uh, which we called uh, like inspiration kind of speech would be there, and it will be based on um, in, uh, university, right? Like a schooling or mind grooming or any academic level, like uh, like education. Okay, it will be also based on education. The first two parts would deal with society, and the, th the third and fourth part would actually deal with uh, education, right? So I hope you got some parts and it will be a little bit clear. Yes. Hello. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you get something from the, this portion? Like what yes. section one? Can you tell me like in simple words, what would be there in section one? Mm -hmm. And I'll listen. I'll... Yes. First, uh, recording one uh, uh, it's between two uh, two person conversation between two person about any uh, topic any society issue exactly. or topic uh, the second one is uh, uh, also uh, a conversation um, but it, uh, it's about one person That is nice. And in section three? In section three, uh, uh, four percent, but uh, it uh, talks about, uh, talk about uh, on uh, education. Exactly. And in section four, one person would talk about education. And education. First, yeah. And first two sections, they would talk about? First, uh, about society. Exactly. That is great. Now, uh, now, why we share this kind of points with students? It is because when they know the procedure, like in first section, they would talk about this sentence, second section. After that, their mind would be prepared for the, uh, you can say, practical environment, and they can face uh, it in a very good way. Like their mind would be ready, like what they will listen. Okay. So that is a very good point at here. Okay. Now let's talk about writing module briefly, and then we will talk about speaking module. So it, uh, it, it within today lecture again. Okay. And writing module, there will be two sections. This section is also a little different for both general and academic, right? Two tasks will be there. Task one, in general, you will have a letter, general for business purpose or for job, going abroad for these kind of first, uh, issues, right? The general students will deal with a letter in task one, while in task two, they will deal with an essay. While academic test, you will have to summarize a text in task one, and that summarization is actually, it actually mean to describe a chart, right? To describe such kind of chart, like a table or such kind of, a, now here, this is it. Uh, there are four kinds of chart, by line, bar, and table. So that, that is only and only meaning this, okay, give us deep meaning. All right, uh, and in the second portion, second task, they will also deal with an essay. Let me repeat it again. In task one, general students should deal with letter, and in task two, they will deal with an essay. But if we talk about academic students, like students going for a student on student visa, they will deal with, uh, in task one, with uh, the description of chart, and in task two, they will deal with an essay, all right. Now let's move further. What would be there? An IELTS writing. Okay, let me show it again. All right. The letter could be formal, informal, or semi-formal. Now we would also discuss these kinds, and in essay we would also discuss like what should be uh, there, how much words uh, they require you to write, and what should be the structure of an essay and write later. Okay, but the summary in academic task one would be on the basis of the image that could be in the form of charts graph or diagrams like these have been discussed like how what should what somebody should be written or the on the page they have mentioned that this can be from graph chart or diagram we will discuss that in as writing model okay in both tests we will have 20 minutes for task one and 40 minutes for task two right like 20 minutes for task one would be given to describe a chart and 40 minutes for an essay in task two would begin again okay. for task two 
you must write at least 250 words. And for task one, you must write at least 150 to 170 words. Like this is uh, an accurate uh, ratio or amount, which IELTS uh, British Council has asked the students to write these much words, right? In section one, 150 to 170 words, and in uh, like more than 150 words, actually, not less than that. And section two, more than 250 words, which uh, would be regarding the essay. And we will discuss that as a structure. Okay, let's move towards speaking model. Speaking is one-to-one -one interaction between the examiner and the candidate, which should be recorded. I already shared one of the previous interview, the mock interview last day. You can also search for that. I, I think I have shared with you uh, through private message. Anyhow, speaking has three sections. And section was one will be based on a brief introduction, which would be followed by a short question and answer and question, uh, questions, right? Question answer. And that brief introduction would be like this. Uh, Tanvir, would you like to tell me your full name, please? Tanvir Lekram. Yeah, that is great. And can you tell me where are you from? From Khanpur. From Khanpur. Yeah, I belong to Khanpur. That is great. All mm -hmm. right. So such kind of uh, introductory type of question will be there. They can also ask you, what is the place you mostly like to visit? Or uh, what was the last gift which you have given to someone? What was the party which you enjoyed a lot and a lot in your life? Or mm -hmm. uh, what what is the most favorite person or actor in your life? So such kind of favorite things and people are favorite place. So such kind of question would be like there to ask from you in section one. And in, that, that, that is actually called brief introduction regarding your personal information, right? And in section mm -hmm. two of speaking module, do, uh, there will be an individual speaking. Like they would give you a topic, they would allow you to just mention or write some kind of headings and make some notes for one minute. And after making those notes for one minute, you would supposed to talk on that same topic for two minutes. Now, how to make notes and how to just prepare the answer, we will discuss that in our speaking module, like the simple way. In simple way, I would also like to mention it here. That is WH questions to keep that in mind, right? And WH question means what I'm talking about, where it happened, when it happened, how it happened, and who was with me when this thing was happening, right? So such kind of questions, when we keep in mind, we get the answer or ideas, a kind of different ideas in our mind, and then we will be able to talk on that similar topic or uh, that topic that required topic more for more than two minutes, right? So that is actually the process, like how to bring different kind of ideas for section two. I hope it is clear. Yes. Okay, that is great. We would also discuss that in detail, but the, today is just a format kind of lecture. In section three, mm -hmm. a discussion based upon the topic that was given to you in part two. For example, if I have given you a topic, electronic media is uh, increasing nowadays, right? And now you started to prepare it. And then after preparing it, you talk on that topic for two minutes. And after later on, I just uh, ask different kind of question within the same topic, like uh, when electronic media came uh, in your place or how we can just teach our students to use electronic media only for study purpose. So such kind of three to four question will be asked regarding the similar topic, which you will be given in section two. And then the same topic would be in section, discussed in section three, but that will be in the kind of questions, okay. That is the uh, last point regarding speaking model. Stay relaxed, calm, and speak as much as you can, right? And uh, for speaking, we should also like use these kind of words, uh, which is also called connectors or transitions. And connectors means, uh, do you know about connectors? No. Yeah, sure Further, uh, yeah good. Furthermore, however, so because these are actually okay, all, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, these are these are to connect the ideas, and in other words, on dorsal side, right? So instead of using so and then, like 
in full conversation so and then so and then so and then mostly students use these two words right and th that is actually called a weak conversation or a weak writing so we should avoid so and then and from now onwards we should use these kind of words. however furthermore so uh, because in other words on the dorsal side in addition and uh, another in a nutshell in conclusion additionally formally such kind of words right uh, i would share the list of connected with you you can get a lot of help from that like bringing different kind of ideas and to talk on different topics formally right while those, those person who use those persons who use the connectors in transition in their conversation and writing, this seem professional, right? British Council really like them. So we should also use those connectors. So uh, that was for all regarding today's lecture. It was a kind of short lecture and uh, it was uh, just a brief intro to the IELTS pattern, like what is the format of IELTS, right? Further view, discuss, we'll take a start from writing module. Our first module is writing and uh, in the first lecture uh, that is some very important tips regarding IELTS writing right so we will discuss those all points and tips in the very first lecture uh, of writing module right and in today's first lecture we just talk generally regarding all the four modules which would be there in IELTS academic and IELTS journal if you have any query till here you can ask please सर जी ये जितना सब समझाया है आपने yeah. ये सारा